Bodega Bay is one of California's hidden gems along the stunning Sonoma Coast. Known for its picturesque views, fresh seafood, and laid-back charm, this small seaside town has something for everyone. But what makes this trip truly memorable isn't just the destination, it's the friends you're with and the people you meet along the way. And although we were only there for two days, we took home with us a lifetime of memories. All right, we got the RV packed up and hitched up, and now we're on our way to Bodega Bay, California. Yep, for the first time, right? For the first time, yep. Okay. Let's do it. This was about a three-hour drive north on Interstate 880, 580, and US 101, finally connecting to the Pacific Coast Highway into town. One of the highlights along the route was crossing over the very long and picturesque Richmond-San Rafael Bridge. Our group stayed at the Bodega Bay RV Park. It's a great park with nice sights, clean restrooms, a lot of amenities, and very friendly staff. We had a pull-through site, which was extremely convenient. There's something special about the RV life that draws people together. It's not just about finding the perfect campsite. It's about the community that springs up wherever you go. And here we are, we made it. Hi, welcome to Bodega Bay. <laughs> One of the best things about RV travel is the sense of camaraderie. Everyone's here for the same reason, to relax, enjoy the outdoors, and of course make connections. <laughs> Whether you're sharing a meal or waiting together for that perfect sunset that never appears, these are the moments that turn vacation challenges into positive, humorous memories. On the first night, our friend Jim built a beautiful campfire. We all sat around the fire and told funny stories of our travels and mishaps while Sandy and Joel provided all of the ingredients to make some delicious samars. We're fairly new members of the Village's RV Club, but by the end of the first night, it felt like we have all been friends forever. And the funny thing is, we soon realized it's not about where we were anymore, was really about our friendships. Somewhere between the campfire stories, s'mores, and the ocean air, Bodega Bay faded into the background. The salty air and the smell of the campfire was still here, but now they were just the surroundings of something more important. The next morning after breakfast, we headed to Sonoma Coast State Park to see some of the beautiful coastline vistas. We stopped by the visitor center to get a park map and learn a little bit more about the area. Parking was tough. Luckily, the visitor center guide, Inga, was there to help. So the visitor center docent is showing us where to park because there's no parking around here. So, Inga at the Visitor Center was fantastic. She showed us parking and then she told us that we could park next to her at the Visitor Center where there's not really a parking spot. So, thank you Inga, really appreciate that. Cafe Aquatica was our next stop. This is a cool little cafe right next to the Visitor Center. Chowder. Best croutons I've ever eaten. No? Like it. Alright, so here's the thing. I don't like seafood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here I am at the coast in Bodega Bay. But she's saying I'm gonna like it, so. You like it? It's good. Awesome. That she can trust oh, it was um, CBS did a spot for 
You know, Inga was so nice to us. We, we got our little dessert here at the cafe. We're gonna go give it to her right now. Hello again, Hi. thank you so much. This is just a little something oh, you did to. <laughs> no, but we want to. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, Don't run across you. nice people like you very thank often. You. So thank, thank you. Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Really You're appreciate very welcome. It. All right. You have a good day. Yeah, we're going to try. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you we try too hard. <laughs> We took a ride to stop at the many Vista points along Pacific Coast Highway. The weather today is dark and moody, the kind of conditions that make the coast feel alive. The marine layer blankets the landscape, softening the edges, creating an atmosphere that's both mysterious and beautiful. The beauty of days like this isn't the bright sunshine or clear skies. It's in the mystery of the landscape. There's a stillness here. A sense of being part of something ancient. Something enduring and timeless. Well, the sun's starting to come out and look at the coastline behind me. Beautiful. Oh, good, we're in the right place. We, uh, oh, the man with the camera. We took uh, the, the, the scenic route. Yeah. We, went around the we went around the back of the building. We hiked along the road. Later that day, we met the group for dinner at La Bodeguita Mexican Restaurant, which is conveniently located right next to the Bodega Bay RV Park. We highly recommend this restaurant, especially if you're staying at the RV park. The food is delicious, and the prices are good too. Everyone got their food except for poor Peter. Luckily, that didn't last long. So it's almost dark, but um, <laughs> they wanted to go down to the beach, so we're going to go walk down there. It's foggy, dark, but hey, this is a lot of fun. For two days, we thought we were coming here for a little peace, maybe some adventure. But what we found was something deeper, something you can't plan for. We've traveled to many places, but what stands out to us is how, when you're on the road with your RV, the people wow. around you become just as important as the destination itself. Here in Bodega Bay, it's not about rushing to see every sight. It's about slowing down, savoring the moment, and embracing the day ahead with a little help from your RV friends. So we found out from our friend Jim that um, there's a farmer's market going on over here. So we're going to go check it out and see what's going on. I hear there's a taco truck and bluegrass. Yep, and it's right next to our RV park. Right next to the RV, yeah. Yep, Bodega Bay. Perfect. RV park. Let's All go right. check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right over here. That first one you looked at is the dark with roasted almonds and sea salt. We also do a milk chocolate version with macadamia nuts and toasted coconut. 69% dark Belgian blend. Oh, Comes in the it. blue bars on its own, pure. Uh -huh. That same chocolate I used to dip a vegan marshmallow. And oh. it comes on our dark toffee with almonds and sea salt. Yes. Compare that to this, is a little more unique. It's a oh. single origin chocolate from Guatemala that we make from scratch ourselves. Mm. Same exact percentage, but I get a little uh, nut butter or peanut butter notes out of the back end. Oh, yeah. I do. 
again, just two ingredients. All that flavor uh -huh. comes from where and how it was grown. Mm -hmm. uh, just like wine and coffee, you grow yeah. the same thing in different places. They right. taste different. Chocolate's the same way. We mm -hmm. actually went to the farm and sourced those seeds ourselves from it's Guatemala. It's not as bitter. Wow. Territory. Yeah, so drop all that in. And we're at 48 is our total. Okay. So we're at the uh, farmer's market and we found this taco truck. I know it's Bodega Bay, you gotta have seafood, but this looks too good to pass up. It is what, Chili Verde? No. Verde, yeah, pork verde pork. tacos. Pork verde. Pork verde tacos. Here they are. Okay. Oh, oh man. Pork verde tacos. Is good? Mm hmm. Located just a couple miles from the RV park, Sonoma Coast Vineyards is a perfect spot to do some wine tasting in Bodega Bay. The atmosphere is charming and relaxed, and their award winning wines are unbelievable. The wine enthusiast in you will truly appreciate the quality of their handcrafted offerings. Can you see me? <laughs> I'm not just saying this. This is some of the best Pinot I've ever had. And I'm not a real Pinot guy, but this is good. I'm drinking the Pinot Noir 2022 from the Coos Family Vineyard, and I give it a good vibe score of 10. I love black cherry and a wonderful vanilla finish. We wanted to get out and hike, so we ended up heading to Bodega Bay Head. There's something about hiking along a rugged coastline on a cloudy day that draws you in. Something that's charged with emotion. Here on the Bodega Bay Head Trail, nature's power was on full display. On a clear day, this trail offers expansive views, peaceful and serene. But when the clouds roll in, it's a different kind of beauty. It feels more wild and unpredictable. Standing on these cliffs feels like you're standing on the edge of the world. Watching the crashing waves below and the ominous clouds above converged into a single powerful moment. And in that moment, you're reminded that nature doesn't need to be cooperative and quote unquote pleasant. Sometimes we are the ones that need to give in to what is. On the final night, we all hung out in Jim and Linda's rig, and Jim shared with us a slideshow of one of their recent trips. And we laughed a lot. And then I surprised them with my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Let's feed it up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tim. I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On the way home, we stopped at a spot that Jim recommended to us, Spud Point Crab Company. It was a perfect setting to have lunch and reflect on our weekend. Bodega Bay had given us more than just beautiful views. It had offered us memories, connection, and a quiet reminder of how precious time together truly is. A perfect ending to the weekend. All right. Well, this was our first time in Bodega Bay and at the Bodega Bay RV Park. We're coming back, definitely. 
We did a lot of cool stuff in just two days. Something that stood out for me was the farmer's market. It was unexpected. Oh, yeah. And of course, the chocolate tasting and the wine tasting. Yeah, and I think one of my top highlights of this whole trip was the tacos at that little <laughs> taco truck. <laughs> they were good. Man. Yeah. Oh, and I want to say again, thanks to the Villages RV Club. Um, you know, it's great having friends out here and doing the traveling with us and did, did a great potluck and saying happy birthday to you. So happy oh, birthday, yeah. Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel. That would really help us out. So we'll see you on the next Philpot adventure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.